What's the crack lads? What's going on? Hope you guys are good. We are back with our player of the week selection video. So we've got two player of the week selections. Every Thursday this is refreshed and obviously on the Monday if you are a newcomer you get your legends and your epics. So that's on Monday for seven days and then usually you get a player of the week selection on the Thursday for seven days. This week we've got two. We've got a double pack. We've got the club championships which is from Europe and we've also got the you know the league uh, selection with the worldwide players here. So so this is a selection of different players. Obviously, I am shocked that Kelleher has got one, the Liverpool goalkeeper. I thought he was fantastic the other day uh, for Liverpool. And he's been he's been a beast, man. Uh, in fairness to him, he's been a beast of a player. He's probably Ireland's future number one by you know the next for the next 10 years. Um, I think he's a fantastic player. But the fact that he gets a booster. Yeah, I mean, I'm very surprised and happy with that. Even though I'm not a Liverpool fan, I do feel that he definitely deserved it. And the only thing stopping this car from being truly into the upper, upper echelon of top class goalkeepers that are strong, that have got, you know, those big shoulders, that have got those big arms, is the fact that he doesn't have uh, his his reflex, or sorry, his reach that goes into the 90 zone. Other than that, everything on this card is phenomenal, but the fact he gets a booster is huge, because he's going to be also getting a plus two to all these stats with the manager boost. I'm really looking forward to spinning for him, but as I said, the only problem is, if you are into stuff uh, like his, you know, having a real face and whatever, he doesn't have a real face, so... That can be a bit of an annoying one, man. I definitely think he's due an upgrade because I think he's a fantastic keeper now, honestly. The rest of the players in this, there's a couple of weird selections in it. So we did a preview uh, piece yesterday, a preview uh, video um, yesterday where we kind of like decided like, or we tried to predict who'd come, right? So we did actually end up getting, I think it was six out of these. So we had Kamara, Minamino, Rafa Silva, Rafinha, Dybala and Modric they were kind of the ones but Modric was kind of guessed about anyway when Konami tweeted out but um yeah I mean for Kelleher to get one here we also have Kamara he scored a hat-trick he's been beasting it in league one as well very very solid player he doesn't get a booster but look at all these skills man absolutely brilliant skills he has soul control for knock-on he's got one touch pass low lofted pass but he's also got fighting spirit and interception very interesting card these are kind of the cards, lads, that I like to look at. Again, the face leaves a lot to be desired, man. Um, the fact that he doesn't have a real in-game face, uh, you know, or a real a good in-game face, it can be a frustrating. But whole players seem to be a little bit back to where they were before. I'm not going to say that they're completely broken um, like before, but they do they do a, a big a bigger, you know, have a have a bigger impact on the game now than they used to have before. And if whole players are that uh, going to be that good, I definitely think that this guy could be a bit of a hidden gem. His stats leave a lot to be desired, but it's something different, man. It's nice to see certain players, you know, get new player of the week cards, right? We also have a Kanji here, the center back, kind of plays full back as well. Surprised he can't play left or right back for this City uh, squad. He actually has an in-game face. None of his stats, because he doesn't have the booster, none of his stats are going to go up into the 90s. The closest one is going to be defensive awareness, tackling, and physical contact. He's going to be an okay card. I mean, there's so many good CBs now that you have to kind of, it's all about your own perspective on it. Is this guy going to compare to right card CB, uh, Puyol, even Marquinhos? Probably not, because of his player ID and the way he handles in game. He's a little bit clunky. That balance and tight possession is massively, um, is, is massively an issue. But for a destroyer right you're not going to be on the ball too much you're not going to be holding onto the ball too much so he's fine man the speed at 80 could be a little bit higher but it's pretty decent at that we also have bassy so this guy is down as a cb uh build up and he's actually got way higher uh speed his speed is 86 which is nice anything over 85 is kind of where you want to go with your speed for where your center backs need to be at the moment especially for a build up you do need that your your players one center back to be kind of fast and mobile this guy looks to be that blocker interception aerial superiority acrobatic clearance everything looks solid on this card man i do really like this card i feel like that it could be a kind of a, 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 a difficult card to um use because again you've got that balance and tight possession when i talk about balance and tight possession it's not an issue when you have center backs or dmfs or even cmfs but it, the, the center backs the, the beastly center backs now at the moment they don't need to worry about that because they're so silky on the ball. So that's kind of where you do get the advantage with the kind of premium players like Rijkaard and stuff. Even if you take a look at, um, 
you know, a top class centre back. Uh, if you take a look at this guy who can play uh, left back or CB, like his balance and tight possession, one of those stats is going to be a little bit higher. So that's what I'm talking about is that like if you've got one of those stats over 70 or over 75, it's going to be nice. But again, just a very, very, very basic left back. Pretty decent defense, pretty decent speed and acceleration. Physically, he's strong. Um, he's tall. He's he's mobile. He looks to be pretty decent on this card. We will be testing out these player on our players on our road to glory later. But yeah, nothing really to get too excited for with these three center backs here. Um, I do feel like the picks of the pack are definitely the, the, the strikers, okay? Now, we will wait to get the top two boys here. But looking at Minamino there, Minamino actually does get a whole plane right midfielder uh, booster card. So he gets agility plus three, speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina. This is the best uh, booster that you can get for attacking base players. Really, really nice and solid card. You obviously can't train up these cards, so they need to be the finished article. And this guy does have a lot that I like, but he also has a couple of bits and pieces here that it's kind of, yeah, if you are going to be playing him, I would play him AMF through the middle, boys, definitely. He has speed, but he, like, I, I feel like that there's better wingers in the game, especially with that whole player. You could kind of cut in manually with him with those uh, player ID triggered runs. Um, dribbling is nice, tight possession is nice. Now, this is the key, right? Spa uh, Stamina, balance, and speed and acceleration. With those boosts, he's going to actually get the balance into 90 and the finishing at 80 uh, and tie possession at 80. So it's a very solid card. I do like the, this card. Minamino is very, very silky and smooth on the pitch. He's under 175 cm. So he kind of has that kind of slick uh, movement, kind of like Salah, kind of like Messi, to be able to glide around the pitch, which if you get used to, you can dribble like an absolute demon. We also have Rafa Silva. So Rafa Silva genuinely i'm so happy that he's got a card man he's he's an absolute machine now he's got soul control and double touch but he doesn't have flip flap that's the only thing i would say that yes soul control is always nice double touch is always nice but having flip flap or the ability to be able to throw it on him would have been a beautiful chef's kiss it would have been lovely because this rafa silva lads looks phenomenal he's got gold poacher which is a unique play style for this build he can play left mid right mid ss amf and all on the wings as well as center forward. He's got brilliant play style. You can see there, amazing run, speeding bullet. Um, he's just going to track runs really, really nice. Dribbling is going to go to 90 with the manager boost. We also have the balance that's going to be pretty decent. The acceleration that's pretty decent. The speed that's pretty decent. And his finishing is pretty decent. This card reminds me of Rodrigo's card, except a little bit slower. Rodrigo CF. That's kind of where I think this card will handle. And trust me, Rafa Silva is an absolute demon of a dribbler. He, he's going to be a beastly card. That's who I really want to get. We also have spun already for Rafinha in our other video we did the roundup. This is just a pure speed-based winger, prolific winger Rafinha. Not really much to talk about here. His tight possession and balance are low for the upper tier of wingers, but he's got everything else that you could possibly want. He's got ball roll with double touch, flip flap, and soul control. Very, very, very nice card. Don't need to spend too much time on that. Phenomenal speed, acceleration, and his balance and tight possession shouldn't be that much of an issue if you just use him for raw speed instead of dribbling, if that makes sense. Dybala gets a CF deep line forward. This card is going to be monstrous as well. I think, obviously, Baggio is going to overshadow a lot of these center forwards now, or SSs that are kind of creative center forwards that are able to finish, but are also able to pass and able to do everything. Uh, but this is a nice card. 90 finishing. He doesn't get the booster, but 90 finishing, 90 ball control, and 90 attack attacking awareness with the manager boost, uh, coupled up with balance and kicking power above 90 as well. So that's always going to be nice, man. But the acceleration is just a little bit low for where it needs to be. But I think this card is going to be a really nice card, especially if you're used to playing with deep line forwards, um, you know, Neymar and stuff like that, the, the free Neymar. So I do think that them cards could be nice. We also have Lahavic who's down as a CF. So this guy is a fox in the box. He's got the booster. He's got huge physical contact, but he also has 85 acceleration with the manager boost, which is nice. I do feel like that this card is going to be slightly clunky in game because all versions of his card have been clunky in game. And this, therein lies the problem with the balance and the tight possession. Listen, very, very simply, without overcomplicating it, right? If you've got a card that has less than 85 balance, or less than 85 type possession, and you're playing him as a center forward, it's a different type of center forward you need to play. Now, if you've got his type possession at 90 and his balance at 75, or vice versa, you can kind of get around that because those two, sta those two stats track with each other. I will do a video on this. 
I will be covering this in the live stream later. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I mean about Fox and the boxes and how they actually operate. I've done it before uh, in live streams, but if you've missed the live streams, we'll do a video on it. He gets a nice plus three shooting, heading, knuckle shot, first time shot, all the shooting stats or skills you could want. He has long range curler. Um, yeah, he's a good card, man. He doesn't have long range shooting, but he's a long range curler uh, skill there, which is quite nice. And obviously, I like to play sometimes with different cards, and this is definitely a different card. And then last but not least, we do have a modern Modric. so Modric is back, have we finally got a beastly Modric card, I think we have, I think this is a phenomenal card, he doesn't get a booster, but he does have everything else that you could possibly want, including super sub, which I think is going to make this card, bring him on in the second half, or 50 minutes gone, 60 minutes gone, bring him on, just pop him into an AMF roll or a CMF roll, and literally just be able to orchestrate place, uh, plays, like that's kind of what you want to do with him, while still being able to shoot, rising shot, long range shooting, long range curler, weighted pass, true passing, doesn't have low lofted pass, which I think is a kind of a, a kind of a hidden gem type player skill, but he does have double touch and interception, I think he's going to be a menace in midfield, going to be similar to Pedri, and listen, it's Modric man, as a box to box, so yeah, I do think that he's a good card, I think his tight possession is phenomenal, balance is phenomenal, speed and acceleration in that area isn't that big of a deal, so we're going to spin one more, and then the rest of the spins we're going to be doing on our road to glory over on our stream later on, I hope you guys join us. Who do we get, man? Who do we get? Who do we get? Oh, it's Bassy. Oh, my God. But I will see you guys later in stream. We'll do our four spins on our road to glory, and we'll play with those. Until then, don't forget to subscribe.